Alright guys, Touch Cry back again today. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying your day so far and we have just witnessed the conclusion of what has been a phenomenal weekend of Call of Duty back online with the fans in attendance. Crazy series, the crowd are getting hyped, it just does not get too much better than this. Beautiful to see Call of Duty back in action to be honest as it has been this past weekend. The winner has been crowned in pretty incredible fashion. Very much intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are new as always. I greatly appreciate it. Really up to the channel. Thank you very much indeed for doing that. Of course, Crim6 to start the day they'll be playing up against that being the Dallas Empire. The Optic Chicago, the E Classico, as it's been called, Envy versus Optic for a few years now. Well, well, would be the first matchup, of course, of this championship Sunday. Calm before the storm. This is what the stage looked like before the fans entered the arena. This is what it looked like after. There was um, one hour till the actual game kicked off, and it was already kicking off right over here in well, in the stage, in the crowd, before well, in front of the stage when Grim's Eggs and Co. would go up against Optic Chicago. Before the series even began, we saw what the map set was going to be, and it was no doubt an interesting one. We saw a Moscow Harbour and Trade a Raid Session destroy a map where um, Dallas didn't really didn't have too much practice on that map when they initially lost it in the grand finals of the previous major duel Atlanta phase and then a checkmate control there's been so many checkmate control bangers between these two teams so far this year and um, well that map 5 it really felt like it favoured Dallas Empire so I was thinking look I predicted Optic to win so I'd probably give, got to give them a 3-1 here given um, I really didn't trust them on that express session destroy that is also kind of Chrome 6's playground it does work out like that but um, some of these maps are absolutely ridiculous Dallas Empire say look it's all going to kick off and what a series this was game 1 it was absolutely insane. Honestly, Optic just um, seemed to feed off the crowd so well, and uh, well, like the energy that you get, right, if you're a player on the main stage, I imagine, when the crowd's got your back and you pop a nice two-piece and everyone's uh, getting hyped about it, and you're building a lead like this, it's just, um, it just feels somewhat insurmountable when you're going like, along those lines, and honestly, Optic just came out swinging here. This map one was not even close at all, like 250 to 86 it ends up. Dallas get completely smoked off the face of the Earth here on Moscow Hardpoint. Exactly what Optic needed, especially after a difficult loss on this map just yesterday to the Seattle Surge. They come out swinging in the series. They then go into a search and destroy, and um, well, as you can see right here, statistically, they got outplayed by 30 kills into Dallas Empire in just a single map. That is um, pretty ridiculous. Dashi starts off 27 in 16 to well, start the series, but it was not exactly easy sailing, and also we did get the crowd a lot louder than it was yesterday, which is great to hear. I mean, um, you really could feel the, well, the, the atmosphere in the venue, no doubt. And opt to get a really interesting situation. They went up 2-0 in this search, and then Illy clutched a pretty incredible 1 versus 3, and you're like, okay, well, this is a, a situation where Optic just said, well, they like throwing away rounds for some reason. Okay, they throw away a couple right here, and, um, well, Lily clutches that crazy round. And then all of a sudden, things start to shift the gears a little bit. Okay, we get this clutch that Scum makes against Vivid right here, which is, of, of course, a massive deal. And, um, I was wondering how some of these guys, Vivid Chotzi, for example, would react right to the crowd being in attendance and all this type of stuff, because that is certainly a thing when you lose a one versus one against Scum, and, um, the crowd goes wild. That's something these guys won't have experienced for quite a while. But after that 1v3 for Lily, all of a sudden, Optic, um, well, seemed to have a somewhat of a more difficult time and uh, well as, as the method says literally untouchable before that one versus three and then after that things start to fall apart a little bit it goes to four four i mean um pretty ridiculous stuff to be honest this stun that comes in from scum but i guess it gets caught somehow on um well i don't know like the glasses or whatever are in there but there's some little ledge maybe that he didn't catch vivid but um scum didn't know he was here they end up losing this round dallas get the job done there in the end and all of a sudden it's a one one game right it's a tie series despite optics domination early on then we go to a checkmate control this is where they demolished seattle just yesterday and we were thinking, okay, all right, let's see how they fare against Dallas Empire. Honestly, both of these two teams have had some incredible bangers so far this season. But so well, Optic take this round right here. And the next round was absolutely ridiculous. It came so much down to the wire. This is a 0.0 seconds round of control. I've never really seen too much like this, to be honest. You can see right here, Optic are on the defense. They're looking to get the job done. And, um, well, you know, the Dallas guys are coming in. Obviously, more lives favoring the Dallas team. But so they get in with 0.0 seconds on the clock. I imagine this was like 0.04 something seconds. Because um, the 0.0 shows not when it's actually zero, but uh, just when it's like, almost zero there's a minuscule amount left and Dallas get the job done they send it to a round five but it's the Opta guys that get the job done in the round five because well they get back on the defense and um, generally defense will get the job done here so yes three two for Optic they win this map they go on to and this is such a massive map for Optic right like I felt like if they lost the raid control and they lost this one the series was um you know slipping out of their grasp they go to a raid hard point and this is a raid hard point where it's not exactly like uh, Optic have been phenomenal out so far this season this is kind of interesting Paris says checkmate controller ZZZ and their map squads from Treyarch yeah a real 
snooze fest indeed completely the opposite it broke 100,000 views as well I think we got like 106,000 or something for the end of this series which is um yeah pretty cool to see no doubt it was cool to see optic you know fans back in the venue all this good stuff get to a point where Call of Duty feels back in business to some degree and this was well the start of this final half point again optic just built out a massive lead this nade from Scott was phenomenal Fl throws it through the window and it gets Illy back and um, I mean this advantage optic get early on seemed somewhat insurmountable eventually they do manage to close out the game it wasn't until incredibly convincing in the end 250 to 203 but um yeah it's that middle half point that gets the job done for the optic guys in a well they move on in the tournament Dallas Empire knocked out and finally the optic guys getting um well the revenge that they were looking for right in front of the crowd against the Dallas Empire right where they of course won the last two well the Dallas Empire won the last two series they played at the previous major this time opt to get their revenge on land in front of the fans it um well certainly was a great moment for I think both sides of things of course Dallas didn't play the call of duty that they would have liked to have played we'll talk about that I'm sure in the coming days but Envoy goes 170 he had a phenomenal series right here but that's not exactly how things went in the next series up against Toronto Ultra this I thought was pretty funny actually so Modern Warzone tweets at Methods and says like you know go dominate today pulling for your guys over Optic I'm even well I'm on the bench bro says Methods right now but um of course they did have a pretty good result for the rest of the tournament hey man good luck in that series we want Ziddy chance happening in the in the stands no doubt bringing him back into the team but um yes it was of course Toronto Ultra that managed to get the job done this game one was absolutely incredible Cami like what a monster he is they win this game number one I mean the Toronto for some reason they're social media guys they don't put up any clips and the CDL well Twitter account has been somewhat dodgy so no clips of this actual game but um well we'll continue on here to the search and destroy so it's Bruce I mean he actually went off in this map game one was um you know Toronto won it pretty comfortably at the end but yes Dashi was an absolute monster at this game too he starts off with a nice little one versus two clutch goes to four in one builds this up to nine in one and then ten in one as optic wins several rounds in a row moscow search and destroy this was such a massive map for them in the series because moscow surge has not been a well it's not been necessarily a strong suit of theirs and it's been so good for toronto this entire season so getting dashi to turn up as he did right here to get to 10 in one on this crazy streak that was of course massive for them they ended up closing out the game but the game three the control did go the way of the ultra it was a raid control where um, i think like optic had a, they kind of traded early on back and forth but then it was also the kind of ran away with it in the end and very impressive right ultra just like when their teamwork is there and they're all firing at all cylinders they're just such a scary team because um they're so their chemistry is incredible their teamwork is incredible and their individual talent i think is significantly underrated so they win that game three they send it to a game four and it's um well it's actually toronto ultra to get the job done here on none other than a checkmate hard point in fairness toronto have been very very good at this map indeed but um yeah the disappointment ready for the optic guys i think and you can see inside getting very hyped to the crowd no doubt because um understandably so right when the crowd's riled up as, as you are that's going to get you as a competitor very hyped to take down the optic guys and indeed they do in the end and um yeah honestly toronto looks so good at this point and understandably so the optic guys fall unfortunately short from their perspective and some of the difficulties especially for optic in this map came down to formal you can see the final scoreboard of this particular map formal goes 18 25 right here so very difficult time especially for a 250 to 148 it wasn't like um it wasn't like an incredible blowout right where there's not too much time to get killed so you know clinics had 32 kills formal had eight so not ideal to finish off the series of formal he had a great series earlier on in the day against dallas right here doesn't really well doesn't really help his kd over the course of the series of course one bad map right but you know your assault rifles are so important on a map like checkmate to get those long range line of sights held down and as you can see right here i mean clinics drops 103 kills from with the 0.7 over the course of the series and it's toronto ultra which um optic you kind of feel bad for them in a way this was their greatest tournament placement of the season so far the other tournaments they've played they finished sixth one time they finished a fourth i'm pretty sure the other three times they played in these majors so this time they'd managed to get top three but um still not exactly where they want to be and losing tries to toronto is obviously a pretty difficult spot to find yourself in when that squad is obviously doing it particularly well right now and optic of course as we see right here they walk away eighty thousand dollars 50 cdl points but third don't quite get where they would want to be but um especially with the bracket opening up i suppose is the way it did but so they just can't seem to beat toronto in these big series at the present time yeah dashi is obviously disappointed about it i'm sure we'll be talking about these storylines for the coming days anything that could go wrong went wrong that series for me says formal but let's talk about the grand finals and what a grand final it was i simply cannot believe what i've just witnessed i recorded the first little part of this video before the grand final concluded when like rocker were on the comeback trail and i was like okay is this actually gonna happen just so i can get this video a little bit quicker indeed it does i honestly cannot believe what i've just witnessed i mean let's just go through the series because um it was like the tale of two halves this game one was absolutely insane 250 to 34 ultra just ran through rocker like they hadn't even played together before as a team like where was this rocker the three had ultra just the other day ultra just come and just destroy them game one 250 to 34 they win an absolute masterclass of checkmate hard points then well guess what we go into the search and destroy a very similar thing 6-1 on moscow that's um obviously a great map for ultra they lost it to optic as we just did see but uh, yeah 
6-1, no doubt about that. Then it goes into a rake control. It's a 3-1. They're running away from the series. Toronto, okay, they're going to win another major like they did before. Rocker, they've, they've spurned their opportunity coming through the winner's side, beating all these great teams. Now they're going to fall short when it matters most. And well, it continues to look like that as, um, well, Harry says right here running the socials for breaking points. This best of nine is about to be quicker than some best of fives. A 4-0 advantage. This is something we've never seen before really in Call of Duty history. I'm pretty sure Dallas versus FaZe from the grand finals of last year's World Championship was um, a 4-0 win, but they had like a 1-0 advantage going in. It was a 4-0 advantage they had after they won three maps. Then, uh, well, I'm pretty sure a FaZe won one map and then they closed out 5-1. But, uh, well, this time it did not go exactly that way. Okay, all of a sudden people are bringing their way back. We're talking about Rocker, like, you know, they're frozen. Why are they moved for the last 40 minutes? Right, what is going on right here? But Stanley starts to turn things around. He's been certainly the standout player of the Rocker so far this tournament. And Miami search and destroy down 4-0. They win the game and all of a sudden it's like, okay, old trick and they can they get their composure back. It felt like, okay, they weren't going to have too many issues closing this one out. But still, all of a sudden, the momentum swings the other way. And then we go into the second map and we get to a garrison air control where um, they're actually, well, they won this series in the previous series. But they won this map in the previous series they played in the winner's final. And um, a very similar thing happens again. Ultra, they, they have some great chances, but they throw it away towards the end. And it's actually the winner's side of Rocker that get the job done. And all of a sudden, it's 4-2. And 4-2 now doesn't seem too bad. They then go into a search and destroy a standoff search. Attach gets a great wall bang right here over towards um, inside behind the tractor and they close this one out again. All of a sudden the momentum is all the way with the rocker and despite being down still two maps in this series it really felt like they were a favourite to odds on to win at this point because the ultra guys the collapse seemed to begin. I mean you could see like mentally with all the fans and all the crowd like you know I'd imagine they were thinking well are we really going to throw this one away? Surely we've got to turn up and now is the time to do so here on Apocalypse Hardpoint but no it's Minnesota Rocker that get the job done. All of these games were like uh, relatively comfortable in the end and like I could not believe what I was witnessing. Ultra just completely collapsed and Minnesota Rocker caught fire. The crowd was behind them. The um, the energy was absolutely electric, no doubt. And Ultra, from such a great position in this series, managed to throw everything away. It goes down to a final game. A raid search and destroy slashes in disbelief. And guess what? They get the job done. As Octane says, look, no regain even capable for the rest of eternity if they lose this one. It's short for life. These guys are going to wake up in 20 years with cold sweats. In 20, you know, 20 years time when they drew about Stanley if they lose this one. And, um, you know, apparently this is called the reverse Super Ultra Mega McTwist Thunderclap says nameless. And what this from round 11 stats, search and destroy 9 in 0 for Rocker this stage on a map not named Moscow. Let's see if they can do it on Raid. Indeed they do. A 2-0 edge they early, well, early on they have from Sani. He was an absolute monster in this entire map. And um, it was just so impressive to witness. Rocker complete what is undoubtedly the greatest comeback in Call of Duty history. 4-0 down to win 5-4. Unprecedented. This major has been absolutely ridiculous on LAN. There's so much to discuss here over the coming days. Very much intrigued to your thoughts in the comment section below. Congratulations to the Rocker guys. Feel horrible for the Ultra guys. That uh, you know the fact that this happened, the way it happened, it's so heartbreaking. I'm sure. But um, I mean, an unbelievable finish to the weekend. What a tournament we've just had. This is why Land Call of Duty is the best possible Call of Duty you can ever get. There will never be a bigger collapse in the rest of Call of Duty history. Congratulations to Rocker and uh, yes, commiserations to the Ultra guys. But uh, what an absolutely phenomenal weekend of Call of Duty that we have just witnessed. Thank you all for watching and enjoying it with me, most certainly. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. Really upside the YouTube icon and like you enjoyed this content. Other people like you may enjoy this content as well. And I'm growing the competitive Call of Duty community. Thank you as always. Take care. And I will see you next time.